Hey guys, I'm back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to one of the suggestions. Today we're going to be reacting with Farouk Julius. Guys, we're going to be reacting to was the Quran copied from the Bible by Doctor Dyke Ike. Nike, sorry. Guys, let's get straight into this. Actually, there may be many human beings who may not be knowing or having a knowledge of the Quran or the Bible. So how can we decipher which of the two is right, or who has copied from whom? The best test is the test of science. If we put these two scriptures to the test of science, we will know the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read superficially, we come to know that the Bible and the Quran are the same. But if we do a research or we analyze it, we come to know that the difference of chalk and cheese. When we read the Bible, it's mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number one, that Almighty God, He created the heavens and the earth in six days. And these six days are 24 hours days, mentioned in the Bible. The Quran too speaks about the creation of the universe and says, Almighty God has created the heavens and the earth in six ayams. Ayam is the plural of yom. One of the meaning of yom is a 24 hour day, but the other Arabic meaning of yom is a long period, an epoch. Today, scientists, they say, that our universe was created in billions of years. So to say it was created in 624 days is wrong. But the scientists have got no objection with the Quran when the Quran says the heavens and the earth were created in six ayams. That is, six long periods without defining them to restrict 24 hours. Guys. He's a Christian, I'm a Christian, he's a Muslim, so we're going to give it to him right now, man. <laughs> so what you're trying to say is that... I'm not the one Christian. Okay, what he's trying to say, you're a Muslim too, bro. Uh, no, definitely. I'm not denying it. I'm a, I'm a proud Muslim, guys. I am a Muslim. Okay, so what he's trying to say is that... You don't get me wrong, I'm not like attacking or something, but he's saying the in the Quran, it wasn't said that the, the earth was created in six days. The Quran was written in Arabic. He said Al Yam. Yam is a period. They did not really specify it as days. The Quran, uh, the Bible specified it as six days. The Quran said six long periods. Pow, what he said. Like six long periods. They did not mention days or anything. Mm -hmm. right, normal um, Islamic translation or um, Arabic translation, Yam, Yam is day for. Um, at least that's what I, that's what the English would translate it to as day. But then he is saying that six long periods. So what I think he's trying to say is that he is comparing it to science because that was the first thing he said. Because normally they are atheists and science doesn't actually believe that the earth was created in six days. But then God is wonderful. There's nothing God can do. God can decide it. What you are still, what you are trying to say that? What I'm trying to say is that I feel we should just watch, like we should see what at what length he is trying to go with this. Because no, I don't think he has landed. He is still in the process of trying to say something. And I think no. it was about changing the topic. Though. I, I oh, want really? to say something like, okay. So, let's say in the beginning of the world, science wasn't that really like. There wasn't science. I don't think yeah, there, yeah, so science. there wasn't science, and he was he was saying that. God created heaven and earth in six days. And I think I, I, I heard him mention 24 hours. Right? A day is 24 hours. Yes. yes. Yeah. That, that was in modern time before science came. Science gave us the time. Science gave us the time. Time to be 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. Listen, yes. So he is not saying, okay, 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 I think I understand what you are trying to say. So, so your six days might not actually mean a day means 24, 24 hours or something. So yes, that is a long period. In Christianity, we believe that time started when man sinned, when God killed man. It was like, I think that, that was when God gave man a limit, I think 70 years. Okay. So that was when time started. Before, even when time started, the Jewish or the other early people had a way of measuring time. And I don't know, I don't know if it was 24 hours, but science came with the 24 hours, hours. yes. And that was way after the earth was created. Yes, way after way, the, uh, way after yeah, way after the Bible or something. Yes. So I think right now we're we'll able to counter the fact that the Bible because he was trying to prove a point that the Quran 
I don't know how big this out for like this. But like, <laughs> you never even go far. Wait, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> I, I, I actually have not really understood what he's trying to say. I only know the basics in my head. Let's continue. Let's continue. Guys, let's get back into this. Furthermore, mention the Bible in the first book, book of Genesis, chapter number one, verse number three to five. You see, I think we're going Almighty with God, He created the day and the night on the first day. And he created the light on the first day. It later says in Genesis chapter number 1, verse 14 to 19, the source of light, that is, the stars and the sun, they were created on the fourth day. Imagine, the effect is created on the first day, and the cause of the effect on the fourth day. The sun was created, and the stars on the fourth day, and the light from the sun and the star was created on the first day. It's illogical. How can the effect come before the source? Quran 2 speaks about the creation of the heaven <laughs> and the earth, but does not give this oh, unscientific sequence. <laughs> Furthermore, mentioned in the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter number 1, verse number 9 to 13, that the earth was created on the third day. The Bible now, what's in Genesis chapter number 1, verse number 14 to 19, that the sun and the moon was created on the fourth day. We know from science that the earth and the moon are the part of the parent body that is the sun. So to say that the earth was created before the parent body, the sun, is unscientific. The Quran 2 speaks about creation of the heavens. So he is saying, I probably read it because he said, to say that creating the sun before creating the earth sounds illogical. No, he said or creating the earth before, for the effect to take place before the sun. I think that, that, that's what he was saying it was illogical. Ah, okay. okay. I didn't get that aspect. That was right. The sun, the moon, and the earth. But it says it was created simultaneously. Imagine Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam copied from the Bible and he changed the sequence. He says, no, both were created together. Bible further says in the book of Genesis, chapter number 1, verse number 9 to 13, that Almighty God created the vegetables and the vegetations on the third day. And Genesis chapter number 1, verse 14 to 19, he created the sun on the fourth day. Scientifically, it's not possible that the vegetation can survive without sunlight. It's totally unscientific. Come on. I think at this point, I probably need the pen and the paper. <laughs> what was created on the fourth day? The sun. The sun was created on the fourth day. Yes. And he was saying the, the vegetation was created on the third day. On the third day. So meaning the plants were already surviving before sunlight came. Yes. Okay. But well, he is saying it's not possible. He says why we you must believe that with Allah everything is possible, right? Yes. You also believe that with Allah. So why are you comparing God to science? Mm -hmm. so, like it does not make okay. sense. Like it's it's actually the it does not make sense. If we want to be honest, like you cannot compare God with science. Listen, okay. this was before everything started. Bro. Yes. Like okay, what you want to tell me that when Jesus said let there be light and there was light. Well, did you know light? When God said sorry, <laughs> when God <laughs> said let there be light and there was light. Okay. It happened instantly. We all know God is light. Exactly. So I feel God was creating the world and he was there. So I feel he was the source of the light. Okay. Before he created the moon and... Okay, the problem I actually have with this is Wait. because first of all, we believe that with God all things are possible. Yeah. Understandable. But the problem I'm having with this is because he is trying to relate it to science and the way science works. You understand? Generally, Plants can't survive without sunlight and water. Yes. But then, uh, the Genesis verse 9 to 13 or so, on the fourth day, sunlight was created, and then on the third day, no, on the fourth day, yeah, on the fourth day, sunlight was created, and on the third day, prior to that time, plants were created or vegetations. So, he tried to compare it to science is what I'm having a problem with. Yeah, me too. That's, that's the problem I'm having with it. But aside that, he, and I'm sure he believes that with God, all things are possible. So, Furthermore, the Bible says in Genesis chapter number 1, verse number 16, that Almighty God created two great lights. The greater light, the sun, to rule the day, 
and the lesser light, the moon, to rule the night. The Bible says the light of the sun as well as the light of the moon is its own light. The Bible says the light of the moon has its own light. But the Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, the light of the moon is not its own light, it's a reflected light. So imagine the prophet copied from the Bible and he made corrections. Not the own light, it is a reflected light. It's not humanly possible. Only one who has this knowledge is Almighty God. There are several examples, we can give a talk only on this. And I had a debate with Dr. William Campbell on the topic, the Quran and the Bible in the light of science. And there, I've mentioned many unscientific points mentioned in the Bible. Time does not permit me to go into details. The various unscientific things mentioned in the Bible, which is not mentioned in the Quran. For example, according to the Bible, Adam, peace be upon him. He came into existence about 5,800 years before. Science tells us that the human beings came into existence millions of years before. The Quran too speaks about Adam and Salam, but does not give a date. The Bible says in Genesis, chapter number 6, 7, as well as 8, about Noah and the flood. And it says that the full world was submerged under water. At the time of Noah, that is approximately 21st, 22nd century BC. Quran too speaks about Noah and Salam, but it does not give it a date. It even speaks about the flood, but it says it was a localized flood, only it flooded the Ummah, the people of Nuh Salam, not the full world. Today, archaeological evidence shows us that the 11th dynasty of Egypt, as well as the 3rd dynasty of Babylon, they existed without interruption since the 21st, 22nd century BC. So archaeological evidence says that what is mentioned in the Bible is totally wrong. There are various examples, we can give hundreds, time does not permit. So surely, this Quran, has not been copied from the Bible. Neither it has been forged. As mentioned in the Quran in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 1 and 2. It says that, do they say he forged it? Nay, it is the truth from the Lord. So that he may give admonition to the people to whom no warner has come in the past. So surely, we can undoubtedly say that neither Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon the author of the Quran, neither did he copy or plagiarize or learn it from any other source. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> so what is your take in this? My full comment on this, I don't really have much to say. But then, the Bible and the Quran might have similarities in some certain aspects, but there are differences that, um, one of the differences that are noticeable. So that's my full take on it. And I also think, um, I don't really understand why he's comparing the Bible to science. And maybe, the, the reason why he's saying this, I think maybe some of the people... I think the reason, why, I think the reason why he's actually doing it is because there are instances whereby people believe that the Quran and the Bible are similar yeah, yeah. word for word. Of course, they are similar in terms of um, what God tells us to do, some of the prophets um, in your, in your um, religion. I mean, Jonah was followed by um, a fish. The same thing is also applies to religion. So there are actually similarities in the two um, holy books. But then he is trying to pinpoint some of the things that are look taking it into science. He's trying to pinpoint the things that are actually wrong in the Bible. But listen, if you want to if you want to compare something in the Bible to science, it shouldn't be creation. Even the Bible says that. The story of creation that the human mind can't comprehend the story of creation. So if if you want to compare like science to something in the Bible, maybe the way of building, how they started building, how civilization started in the Bible or something. Because for creation, if if I I I feel that if you are a scholar and if you understand the Bible, you shouldn't compare science to creation because 
science is proving different things. And now I think he was trying to show that some people are saying the Bible is saying different things. And so now I think we have three things, the Quran, the science, and the Bible, okay. which are all saying two, two different things. But the Bible and the Quran existed before science. And I think they got science from the Bible and the Quran because I, th- I think it's like reference. There are some yes. references of science that are yes. made in the Quran, even before science itself discovered. Do you guys believe in David? David, 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 yes, we do. Oh. Guys, because of the end of this video, guys, tell us what you think about this. Let's see you next time, guys. Yes.